Hello everyone, it's Reverend Gail. I wonder if you know what all of these mean. What's their text? Short versions and that you can see in text messages. Do you know what they mean? I wonder. I'm going to give you a moment to see if you can work it out. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. So the first one means excellent. And please see you later. Please call me. Lots of love or laugh out loud. That's got two meanings. Bye for now and embarrassed. Well, today we're used, aren't we, to receiving messages really, really quickly. That might be a text on a phone, or it might be an email, a telephone call, all sorts of different ways we receive messages. Well, God's been sending people messages for thousands of years. But sometimes they had to wait a very long time to see exactly what God meant by his messages. So I want you to imagine now that we are in the year 700 BC. BC means before Christ before Jesus was born. So that's about 2,700 years ago, give or take. And so I want to talk about this man called Isaiah. And here are some pictures that uh, of how he might have looked, because we don't actually know exactly what he looked like. But he wrote one of the books in the Bible, he was a prophet, so a messenger of God. And we heard a part of a message last week too from me. So about 2,700 years ago, the Bible says that God sent a message to Isaiah, which we can still read in our Bibles. And in fact, it's the message I told you about last week, but this is only just a little bit of it. A child is born, he will rule forever from the throne of his ancestor, David. Isaiah was really, really excited about this news. But then he got older and older and still this promised ruler hadn't come. And before Isaiah died, he passed the news on to his son so that when God's promise happened on earth, his message wouldn't be forgotten. And Isaiah's son got very excited too. But then many years later, he was a very old man and the promised ruler still hadn't appeared. And he told his son that the message would not be forgotten. And so the message kept on passing through generation after generation after generation after generation. Well, the people had to wait a very very long time for God's message to come true. In fact, the people who first heard the message had been dead for hundreds of years before anything happened. And Christians believe that God had sent messages to other people years before too, which gave details about what this baby was going to be like and which family he was going to be part of even where he was going to be born. So when eventually the baby was born at the right place in the right time, in the right family, and when some amazing things happened around him, people remembered the things that Isaiah and the others had passed down to them through the ages. And they believed that this was going to be a very special baby indeed. I wonder if you guessed who the baby was. That's right, I'm talking about Jesus. Do you remember that we're in a special time of the church's year now called Advent, as we get ready 
to remember Jesus being born at Christmas. I want you to have a little think to yourself now, because I wonder what you are doing to get ready and to pass on the message of who Jesus is. Have a think and then I'm going to say a prayer. If you want to make this prayer your prayer too, then join in with the Amen at the end. Thank you, Father God, for people like Isaiah, who faithfully wrote down what they heard from you to prepare people for the arrival of your son, Jesus. Thank you that we can still read these messages for ourselves in the Bible. Amen. And so we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you now and always. Amen.